the mysterious antarctic treaty was rushed together in 1959 and signed by Argentina, Australia, Belgium, Chile, France, Japan, New Zealand, Norway, South Africa, the Soviet Union, the United Kingdom, and the United States. This treaty came just after a series of groundbreaking expeditions led by Admiral Richard E. Byrd, a highly distinguished American naval officer and explorer. Byrd led several expeditions to Antarctica, the most famous being Operation High Jump from 1946 to 1947, and Operation Deep Freeze from 1955 to 1956. Operation High Jump was one of the largest expeditions to Antarctica. It involved over 4,700 personnel, including naval and army staff, scientists, and support crew, a fleet of over 13 ships, including an aircraft carrier, the USS Philippine Sea, destroyers, cargo ships, and tankers, multiple aircraft for aerial survey and logistic support, including seaplanes, helicopters, and fighter planes, a range of equipment for establishing bases, scientific research, and survival in extreme conditions. The primary objectives of Operation High Jump were to establish the Antarctic research base Little America 4, test cold weather gear, train personnel, and extend the United States sovereignty over a practical area of the Antarctic continent. Operation Deep Freeze was the first of a series of scientific expeditions to Antarctica and involved several hundred military personnel, including naval support, along with civilian scientists from various disciplines, a number of icebreakers, supply ships, and an aircraft carrier for air operations, cargo aircraft and helicopters for transporting personnel and supplies, and for conducting aerial surveys scientific instruments for glaciological, oceanographic, meteorological, and geological research, as well as construction materials for building research stations. The goal of Operation Deep Freeze was to prepare for the International Geophysical Year 1957-1958 to by constructing permanent research stations, including McMurdo Station on Ross Island and the Admonson Scott South Pole Station. Bird, soon following Operation Deep Freeze, passed away in his sleep from an alleged heart condition at the age of 68. Subsequently, a so-called secret diary attributed to him surfaced, which contained dubious claims about an advanced alien civilization discovered in Antarctica through an entrance into a hollow part of the Earth. This diary, widely lacking any authenticity, would clearly appear to taint Bird's reputation by painting him as delusional, and his Antarctic accounts as mere fiction. Some argue that this early defamation was a preemptive strike to tarnish his credibility, in the event that further revelations from Antarctica emerged, which could attract unwanted attention to additional findings that were made. We must remember that the discoveries in Antarctica were so profound that they prompted an international agreement to restrict unauthorized exploration suggesting momentous findings beyond the continent's well-documented natural resources. In 1962, a sequence of high-altitude detonations known as Operation Fishbowl were carried out by the United States under a broader umbrella of tests titled Dominic. This operation occurred during a period when both the United States and the Soviet Union were allegedly conducting nuclear experiments in various settings to assess the impacts of these weapons and improve their design and deployment. These detonations occurred not on the ground, but at high altitudes, further indicating that they were targeted directly at the enigmatic boundary central to our investigation. Most intriguing are the particular names chosen, Operation Fishbowl and Dominic, which is derived from the Latin Dominicus, meaning belonging to the Lord. One might interpret these conjoined names as Fishbowl belonging to the Lord. As we progress in our exploration and consider the significance of these operation names, we might soon consider a deeper understanding of Earth's authentic form and the discoveries in Antarctica which swiftly led to the complete restriction of access to the entire continent, reserving entry exclusively for government-only scientific research and objectives. I maintain that the paramount discoveries in Antarctica provide compelling evidence that our existence is the result of an intelligent and creative force. 
these findings not only challenge the foundational principles of the evolutionary and big bang theories but also reveal that our world is confined within defined and impassable boundaries i also contend that operation fishbowl and dominic curiously named fishbowl belonging to the lord were not merely nuclear tests but powerful efforts to probe and examine the mysterious boundary encompassing our earth the urgent need to conceal this boundary prompted the creation of a counter-narrative which portrays the cosmos as an expansive and limitless frontier nasa crafted this elaborate counter-narrative to diminish the potential impact of significant discoveries in antarctica which if revealed would clearly demonstrate our existence within a contained and purposefully created world in doing so they aimed to dispel any possible notion of an enclosed system instead promoting the concept of infinite space extending in all directions as the officially propagated narrative should such revelations ever come to light they would quickly capture worldwide attention and trigger an unprecedented level of social upheaval directly affecting religious scientific philosophical educational theoretical and political realms this might sound like a teaser for the latest science fiction blockbuster but i urge you to venture forward as we look far deeper into this deceptive and nefarious narrative that surpasses even hollywood's wildest imaginings as unlikely as that might seem these assertions will be substantiated through an array of documented events and clear instances of fraud that anyone can verify for themselves evidencing that the cosmological narrative we have been taught since children is a carefully orchestrated cover-up more entrenched and protected today than ever before brace yourself for an expose replete with fraud and deception that is as compelling as it is unsettling we now have extensive historical hindsight up to the present day allowing us to apply a more discerning eye than was possible at the outset of this elaborate psychological operation that began in the 1960s our objective is to critically reevaluate and ultimately dismantle the entire foundational credibility of nasa and their counterpart space agencies worldwide we will confront unsettling truths that not only illuminate these profound revelations but also bring them full circle enabling us to fully expose this elaborate modern-day psyop